Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS and 3 or less. Today we're in the F-16 fighting Falcon, showing how to fire the AMRAM at multiple targets in TWS radar mode. As always, control bindings at the end. Check master arm on, set air to air mode. If you have more than one air to air missile type, you can cycle through them here. Put your radar in TWS mode for track while scan. On the right MFD, bring back your horizontal situation display. This helps visualise your radar scan. Set the azimuth and the number of bars, as well as the radar elevation, to where you expect your targets to be. You can bump the radar cursor off of the top or bottom of the screen to change the radar range. Contacts will first appear on the radar as search targets. These are represented by small, solid squares. After a couple of sweeps they'll become slightly larger, and that means they've turned to track targets. Target altitude is shown underneath in thousands of feet. We can press the HOTAS RAID button to zoom in and get a closer view of the targets. Four targets total. Press the RAID button again to zoom back out. Press TMS right short to convert all tracks into system tracks. Press again to bug the nearest target. You can repeat this to cycle through which target is currently bugged. We can see it better if we zoom in with the RAID view. Note the missile symbology on the right of the radar display. It shows the maximum range of the missile, the no escape range, and the current range with the closure rate in knots. The pair of circles in the centre of the HUD and the radar display represent your steering cue. We want to put the smaller circle inside the large one in order to fire the missile. The larger circle expands as we come within range. For better odds of a kill, we're going to wait for our target to come closer to the no escape zone. That should do us. Press and hold weapons release to fire the missile. Fox 3. TMS right to bug the next target. Fox 3. TMS right once more. Fox 3. Watch out because the F-16 really loves to roll between shots. Doesn't like an asymmetric load. That's the last target and Fox 3. The number with an A on the HUD shows the time until the last fired missile goes active. If it shows a T, that represents the time to impact after the missile's already gone active. The solid bar against each radar contact shows the AMRAM in flight. The bars start to flash once the AMRAM goes active and they get a red cross through them once the predicted impact time has passed. Looks like we scored some hits. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more 3 minute tutorials on all of your favourite DCS modules.